Hello everyone, Owl here. Welcome back to Tales of the Black Forest by Sakura Games. Uh, the RPG, or JRPG, I'm actually not quite sure which one is which. Uh, time Traveling Mystery. We just came back from 1995 where we met a girl who is almost certainly not a girl who gave us the magical power of Nesha, which basically allows us to time travel by touching, um, um, appliances. God, I forgot the word appliances for a minute there. Good for me. What's this? It looks like an egg. Let's touch it. Mm. Oh, also there's an evil cult. Of course, there's always a cult. Why is there something like an onigiri on the seat cushion? Uh, that is clearly a jelly donut and you know it. Oh god, it's moving on its own. I'm Kiritani! I'm, I'm sorry, what? What What are you? Uh... Because of that curse, I've changed my appearance from a human to a pigeon! I can only talk when I take the form of a pigeon! You're a, you're a pigeon, and you're a girl from 1995? Wait, is that why you didn't know what a cell phone is? Wait, are you a girl or a pigeon in real life? I mean, in your normal form. You're saying you're a pigeon right now. This isn't important! Don't forget to take me with you if you intend to leave this place! Don't you have wings? Idiot! I've done a use to my bird's body! Alright, uh, my pocket should be big enough to fit something like an onigiri of this size. Weird. Kiritani Yuki joins the team. Oh, sweet. We added a party member. Alright, let's do some investigation. Uh, movie poster has turned yellow. The words, Tanari no Tetero, can be seen vaguely. Uh, let's get some coffee. Nope, we can't get coffee. Cabinet is empty. Uh, wait. Do we have to travel back in time to, uh, get out of here? Because the door is now not blocked. The iron chain that locks the ladder in place have rusted all over, and several parts have already broken off. Oh! This ladder looks rather sturdy. If I put it across the hole, I can get across. That was a happy little accident. Oop. Alright, cool, cool. Let's, let's go. I hope the cat doesn't try to eat our pigeon friend. We finally got out. I told you this notebook would guide us out of here. Uh-huh. Huh? I don't know why I gave her that voice, but it felt appropriate. I have something to say before we set out. Kahara-san, I know you have a lot of questions. I'd really like to tell you the truth, but I can't divulge more right now. All right, fair enough, I guess. I'm inflicted with a kind of curse called the Kodudama Curse. With this curse, I can't tell the secrets that I know. Once I develop an ear to tell a secret, the curse would become invisible hands that grip my throat tightly. Ah, sort of like Ray Zero, yes. Such that I can't utter anything at all. I can't tell you why I'm here. How did I know these secrets? Or where you got your weird magic notebook from? The only thing I can say is, I'm not an evil person. I really want to get out of this place with you, Kihara. That's all. I know it's not convincing. Yeah, it's really not, man. How should I put it? I am also hiding something. I am not left-handed. I mean, I'm not. I could see strange things since I was a child. Oh, you, you have powers other than time travel? Dang, you're just getting the mutant lottery today. Strange things? Things like yokai, collect a term for monsters, demon spirits, supernatural beings, ghosts and such. I'm a soul reaper. I thought everyone could see those, but later I found out I was the only one who could see them. But they were all very benign, and they never hurt me. Hmm. Huh. No wonder you're unusually calm, Kihara-chan. Gnarly girls would be scared and cry if they came to such a place. Whoa, sexist much? Uh, I know everyone has secrets they can't tell. Once they divulge it, people would get hurt. I mean, depends on the secret. What's the quote from the office? Secret secrets are no fun. Secret secrets hurt someone. That stripper was very wise. So, I understand if you have your difficulties, and I won't ask further. Oh. Jahara chan you understand me. I'm, I'm really touched. So let's head towards Kuramori Cho Go Chika Chika to the theater. Yes. Let's do that thing that you just said. Alright, is the cat no longer blocking our way? All right, our cat friend is no longer there, so we should be able to proceed. The cat from just now has disappeared. I, I just...
just said that. Right, cool. It seems I've forgotten something. Oh, oh, that's right. We're not allowed to proceed until we have ev done everything. Our backpack? Is that what it is? Obtain the satchel. Oh, wow. We literally just forgot our backpack. Whoops. All right, let's go. Shujin. A chicken. Come here, chicken. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Go, Shujin Cluck. Did you just try to speak? It seems this chicken is speaking in human language. This is the White Feather's other ability. It enables the holder to understand an animal's language. Say, did the White Feather fall off from you? Of course not. I don't know, man. Shujin. Shujin. It's for dialect in Shikanaki Village. It means master. Oh. Well, that's doing something for me. You'd also know of a dialect here. Say, a chicken would also know how to speak a dialect? Ah, I, I know a bit. Shujihito Kibirarushin. What did it say? Ah, uh, it said master was hanged and is dead. Oh. Cheerful. Hanged? What does that mean? I... Kirhara, you know exactly what that means. I'm not sure. Oh, 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 oh. Go, ah, go soak your head. Can you ask about it? Eh, do I look as if I speak chicken language? But it looks like the same species as you. I am the same as you, idiot! Well, I mean, one's a pigeon, one's a chicken. They're not, I mean, they're, they're, they're similar, but they're definitely not the same. Uh, let's investigate the other places first. Right. Uh, do, 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 do. Ooh, that's a pond. That's a log. Anything in the log? No. All right, let's check the bulletin board. There are some old announcements on the notice board. Use arrow keys to change options. Press Z to confirm exit quit. The 135 incident. According to investigations, a poison gas attack which took place in train 135 at Kuramori Choke Station was committed by members of the Shinreten Goku. At the same time, police have confirmed that the station master, Shikanaki of Shikanaki Station, Matsuyama Maso, 62 years old, is a member of Shinriten Goku, and he is likely to be involved in the gas attack. When the police rushed to Matsuyama's residence, he had already hanged himself. Since poison gas attacks have occurred lately, Shikanaki Mura Safety Committee would like to remind all residents to get their safety manual on hazardous gases promptly. If anyone finds a suspicious person or object, Notify us nearest authority immediately, October 12th, 1995. October 1995? I remember there was also other poison gas attacks after the attack at Eden Subway. Is Kermori Town one of them? I don't know, man. If you had a smartphone, you could figure it out, but it's 1998-5, so you wouldn't know that. Uh, notice on school closure. Because of decreasing enrollment, Shikanaki Elementary School will be closed down officially by March next year. We believe every village resident has enjoyed their happy moments at Shikanaki Elementary School, but out of safety considerations, residents are advised not to go near the school premises. Sizz. That's not suspicious at all. Uh, December of 1995. Okay, what else we got? Uh, Shikanaki Mora Revitalization Plan. Alright. Implement the policy of One Village, One Product. Vigorously develop tourism at Shikanaki Mora. Create the Shikanaki Miracle again. It's hard to make out the words near the end because it has been put up for a long time. But I can tell roughly that it was put up in the year 1982. Ooh, so that plan did not succeed. 1982? From how this village looks, it was probably hit hard during the economic crisis. And the revitalization plan failed. Hard. You sure do follow economic matters closely, Kirarchan. I listen to NPR. It's, I just kind of pick up on it. My father is a lecturer of socioeconomics. One of his research topics over the last few years is the economic bubble in Japan. Wow, that's impressive. Eh, he's kind of a dick. All right, uh, that's that's it for there. All right, let's investigate. I wonder if we can find the body. Not because I particularly want to see a dead body, though this is a horror game, so that would be cool. It's all dark ahead. We better go back and investigate first. Wait, I have a flashlight. All right. Uh, okay, the flashlight doesn't help me there. Cool. All right, let's see. What have we missed? Because we're not allowed to proceed until we find everything. An abandoned wheelbarrow with flowers around it. All right, is this the guy's house? 
this place is much more bleak than I imagined. Shigenaki Village was practically abandoned since a year ago. Everyone has moved out? Some moved to Kuramori Town, some moved to places further away. Those who remain behind have probably died already. Oh, that's depressing. You seem to know Shigenaki Village well. The subject matter of my next book is Kuramori Town, and the strange tales from the nearby villages. Of course, I've done a lot of my uh, homework in advance. Huh. Well, alright. I mean, you said you didn't village my hometown. Which makes really good beer. <gasps> a Chim Cham! Chime Cham! It's a Pokemon! Ooh, it sounds pretty. Chime Chime? Watanabe's J.A. Shikanakimura Kuromori Cho. What is J.A.? J.A. is an abbreviation for Japan Agrological Cooperatives. They're responsible for the village's development. Well, they did a bad job. This Watanabe should be the head of this village. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Uh, just, just a guess. Uh, let's go inside. The door is shut tight. Okay, can we sneak around? Chim Cham. Chime, chime, chime. Let's see. Ooh, nope, not really. Let's see. Oh, I can. I keep forgetting it's. Fr what? Okay, he didn't like that. I did not like that. A strange signpost of a cat picture on it. The signpost appears quite new and looks out of place in this desolate village. I'm kind of scared. Can I go inside here? An uninhabited house. Can we go down here now? No, I don't like this. Strange voice. Oh, your son, young lady. Huh? Ah! Uh, no, no, no. I don't like the. Oh, your son, can you help me? Look, Orochimaru, I liked you in the series. I don't want to meet you in real life. Ah! Uh... I've been starving for days, and I'm weak. Can you hold this child for me? No, even if you were a normal lady and that was a normal child, I would not want to hold it. Kiara? Kiara? Uh-huh. I can't explain it. We need to go. Hurry, get out of here. Yeah, no arguments from me, bro. Nope, nope. It's not letting me move. It's not letting me move. It's not letting me move. Help me. Help me. Help me hold my child. Don't delay. Hurry up and run. See, I, I forgot to do the voice because I just want to get out of here. Bye-bye. Did we do it? Did we do it? I, I can't move. She didn't pursue us. What's going on anyway? It's a legend that's been spreading around in Shigenami Village for a long time. Ah, my voice is back to normal. Excellent. The legend said that people would meet a woman holding a baby when they walked in Shigenaki Village at night. The woman would beg passerby to take care of her baby. Once you take the baby, that woman will disappear. Then the baby will become heavier and you can't throw it away. Eventually, the baby will be so heavy that it will squash you flat. That... That sucks. That's a, that's that's sucky. That's really sucky. What if she's someone who really needs our help? This village has been abandoned for a long time. A woman wouldn't possibly roam around here in a kimono. Fair point. W what about yourself? This isn't the time for jokes, you fool! But weren't you wearing, like, a kimono when I met you in 1995? Anyway, although the monsters and ghosts you've met before are all benign, there are plenty of malignant spirits in this world. I believe you, bro. There are some evil spirits who might even pose a threat to your life. So, you know, avoid them. Blarf! Uh, are you okay? Did you just... Are you alright? You don't look well, man. Ah, uh, probably because she shook too violently when you were running. Oh, it's because I you started telling me stuff you weren't supposed to tell me, isn't it? How about getting into my satchel? It's more spacious there. <laughs> I'm fine. It's, it's cozy here. Plus, your body is warm. It smells good, Kara-chan. Thank you? I mean... Then get some rest. I'll try to walk slowly. It's weird. Smelling good is a compliment, but why does it always sound so weird? Like, I, I know whenever someone tells me I smell good, I'm always like, uh, thank you? Like, I, I never quite know how to take it. I mean, like, thank you. I mean, I'm glad I don't smell horrible. Ooh, a scarecrow. A scarecrow that looks somewhat strange. Cool. Let's go swimming. Probably a bad idea. Eh, let's go to the water anyway. Ah, the wooden bridge is tottering. A desolate village in a forest that stretches as far as the eye can see on the opposite side. Yeah, let's not do that. That seems like a bad idea. The door is locked. 
A telephone. The phone seems to work. Seems this phone could be used for Nesha. Yes, but we should wait until we really need to use it. Yeah, I want to explore the rest of this place first before we do any time travel shenanigans. Alright, what are you? The table is full of scratches and swear words. Someone wrote the timetable with a pencil on the table, and it doesn't look like an adult's handwriting. This should be some student's desk. Eh, why is it here? A prank? I don't know, man. Graffiti's popular all over the darn place. This is the sort of thing of, that is very common in school. A school would always have one or two students that are shunned by others. Oh, That's sad. Eh, that's so out of line. How could they treat their classmates like this? Kids, kids are weird, man. Those outcasts are probably treated as different beings. A lot of people are afraid of the unknown. Afraid of the unknown. Ah. Um, girl, you're so nice. You must be very popular at school. <laughs> Dude, I see ghosts. I'm not popular. My classmates in elementary school treated me as a weirdo because I could see yokai. Uh-oh. But that's in the past. Now my classmates are all very nice people. Oh, uh, that That's good. I don't know why I gave her a voice that's basically Toad, but you know what? I'm going to stick with it. I don't know. If you don't like it, let me know in the comments. The door can't be opened. Shigenami Elementary School. The building might collapse any time since it has not been maintained for many years. Please do not enter without permission. Ah! Ooh! Okay, okay. So, now I bet we can use the phone to go back in time and enter the elementary school. Alright, let's do it. Let's go back in time. No, let's do it. Okay, it's not gonna let me do that, apparently? Alright, maybe we have to explore something else first. Uh, I don't want to go back across the bridge if I don't have to. Oh, what's down here? Ah, okay, we can keep going. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, uh-oh. Is it the creepy lady again? Oh! Is that a Leshen? Or a Leshen head? Chapter 1. Dear Skull Caden. So what were we doing before? The, the prologue? It looks like a deer skull. And it also looks like that is where I'm going to end this episode. Because I feel like I should try to keep these uh, grouped in parts. So that was the end of the prologue, I suppose. And now we're on chapter one. So thank you for watching the episode. If you liked what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. If you didn't like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe anyway. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one. Mwah. Thank you.